When I first seen the Asus C170S Sabertooth motherboard, I said I have to get one and I have to build a custom white computer. You know that I am an enthusiast of white computers. So stay tuned for the upcoming old white PC mod. With that said, let's take a look at this beauty, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share the video. Let's get started. I am going to start off by opening the box and see what's inside. The camera doesn't do justice by the look of this beauty in real life. These are the back I.O. connectors, we'll get to that in a minute. Alright, let's take a look at the parts included. We got the CPU installation tool, a certificate saying how reliable is this motherboard, that's pretty cool, thumbs up for that, a paper with some of the product copyrights and stuff like that, some beautiful, beautiful stickers, that's pretty cool, we have an Asus and Nvidia SLI bridge, some SATA port cables for your SSDs and hard drives, a glorious I.O. backplate, man, 20 thumbs up for that one, wow. We also got M.2 screws if you decide to install some uh, M.2 SSDs. We got the front I.O. panel guide for easy cable placement. This is a black mesh, I am still trying to figure out what it is. More SATA cables, more paperwork, and finally the manual book. And inside we can find the CD to install some drivers to get you started. And a beautiful aluminum sticker. Looking at the top side of the motherboard, we got the 8 pin power connector for the CPU, a 4 pin power connector for a fan, obviously, a 4 pin CPU fan connector, a, another 4 pin CPU optional, and a 4 pin fan connector dedicated for a water pump. How cool is that? The heat sinks located around the CPU are bolted together. This motherboard truly stands by its name, tough inside. The tough hollow choke gives this motherboard a 24-7 performance support. What else could we ask? This motherboard supports DDR4 and is a dual channel. The maximum memory allowed is 64GB, the speed is 2133 and 2400MHz. On the right side of the memory slots, there is a memory OK button. Very handy when the motherboard does not seem to want to recognize the RAM sticks. You just click the button and you are loaded into the BIOS for configuration. The 24 pin and USB 3.0 connectors threw me off by the brown color. I mean, it stands out like a sore thumb. The back I.O. cover has a beautiful design as well, and it gives you the option to add a fan inside. It would have been nice if the motherboard had the fan included already. Now I have to go look for it. At the bottom of the motherboard we got some more connectors such as the front audio connector, an extension fan connector, we got the Thunderbolt header, we got the TPM connector as well, we have another 4 pin fan connector for another fan, another USB 3.0, we got two USB 2.0 connectors, we got two more 4 pin fan connectors, man so many fans in here, and finally we got the front IO connectors. Looking at the bottom right side of the motherboard, there are two more fan connectors, 4 pin, and we can also find the SSD M.2 socket, very cool, very convenient. Here are the SATA port connectors, where we plug in our SSDs and hard drives. There are also two connectors for SATA Express. The heatsink of the Intel C170 chip has a cool looking design, and it has white LED that indicates the CPU power, the RAM, the VGA, the boot device, and the power of the whole system. Alright, let's take a look at the rear panel connectors. We got 4 USB 2.0, one tough detective port that only support TUF Detective 2 only, one USB BIOS flashback button, one display port, one HDMI, two USB 3.0s, one Intel end port for the Ethernet cable, one USB 3.1, one USB Type-C, and the audio I.O. port. 
and right here we can see the PCIe connectors for the graphics cards which support 3-way SLI and the other PCIe connectors you can connect the audio cards, SSD, etc. Guys, that is it. Thanks for watching the overview of this motherboard. If you want more in-depth uh, details of this motherboard, I am going to leave the link to the ASUS website in the description if you want to know more about it. Guys, I have to say one thing personally. I love this motherboard. It looks amazing. It looks gorgeous. And that is the reason why I bought it. This is not a sponsored video, I bought this motherboard and like I, like I do all the time. I do these videos because I enjoy making videos because I love it. And this motherboard really got my attention when I seen it, I was like wow, I really want it. Now I know that there's another motherboard out there, another tough series that was released for the you know, C97 version of uh, Intel, but honestly guys, it was just, you know, one and a half generation old I didn't really want to get it I know the i7 4790k is still a beast but I decided I like to stay up with the new stuff you know what I mean so that's the reason why I didn't buy it although it has you know the, the armor plate on the back of the motherboard and it has you know the armor plate in front of it it's nice I can you know I can hit on it it's nice and stuff but I really wanted to put my hands on this motherboard here and I can say that I am happy with this motherboard, it looks great. Uh, currently I am installing Windows into it, I, I already installed my RAM and whatnot. It's a beautiful, beautiful motherboard. If you're thinking about getting it, don't hesitate. Thank you guys, stay tuned, hit the thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, stay tuned for more upcoming videos.